What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be doing another unboxing video. This time we're gonna be doing a bicycle video. Now, I've reviewed bikes before. I did a review on a Mongoose Dolomite, which is a big, humongous, fat tire bike, like a beach cruiser kind of bike. And uh, that video went to 100,000 views. If you wanna watch that video, I'll click on the link below. But uh, we're gonna go the other direction this time. We're going with a compact folding bike. This bike was uh, provided to me by the folks at Villano, as you can see here. And uh, how I found Villano was, is I was doing research on YouTube on folding bikes because I'm going to the Overland Expo, I needed a bike. And uh, actually Villano, their design was one of the nicest ones that I saw out there for a budget price. Of course, you can go up into the thousands when it comes to bicycles. But they had a, a nice budget-friendly bike. I reached out to them and they said, yeah, we'd like to work with you. And so they sent me this bike for review. So thanks a lot, Volano, appreciate it. And what this is, is a almost like a BMX style bike, 20-inch uh, wheels, but it's not a kid's bike. This is designed for adults who uh, need a compact folding uh, bicycle for transportation somewhere. Say you're going to a trade show, a race event, track day, something where there's a lot of walking you gotta do and there's a lot of open spaces you gotta ride around and uh, having a bike would just make a life a lot easier. Um, I'm going to the Overland Expo next month so there's a lot of back and forth from the event to the uh, campground so a bike is gonna come in handy and I'm gonna use this bike there. And uh, it's nice because you can fold this up and put it in the back of your trunk. You don't need uh, a bike rack. It's very compact. And uh, let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. So as you can see, the bike is um, nicely packed at the factory. Everything is protected, which is nice. I've seen other videos where people unbox the uh, bike and the rims are bent or the frame is scratched. So mine survived. Looks like the rims are straight and I don't see any other damage. So pretty good so far. Make sure you check at the bottom of the box when you take the bike out. There's going to be some stuff down there. Uh, this is a user manual slash assembly manual. I think they accidentally put two, which is fine by me. It's got some caps in there. Not a whole lot of extra parts. And then here is a uh, like a verification card with some phone numbers and a website. Uh, it, it also just says thank you, and it shows the signature of the tech who assembled the bike at the factory. Open it up. Just like that, you're ready to ride. Of course, with a brand new bike, you always want to check everything, make sure nothing's broken, snapped, or bent, or whatever. Also, tighten up all the bolts so uh, you know nothing falls off when you ride it for the first time. So just a quick double check on all the bolts. That's a pretty good looking bike. I like this color too. It's like a grayish blue color. Looks like a three piece crank. I don't know how many teeth the uh, main sprocket is in the front, but it looks um, pretty big, good for cruising. Dropouts look pretty good. I used to be a welder in the old days for Toyota, and uh, the welds look pretty good on this. 20 inch rims, like I said before. Blacked out. Pretty nice. You got a 20 inch street tires just enough to get the job done more like commuter tires really if you're going to go off-road in the dirt maybe you can get some knobbies but this should be uh, enough just to uh, commute and get around for the most people the tires come pre-aired up so you can ride this thing right away pretty cool there's another look at that locking mechanism for the uh, the folding area you do have some uh, mounting points here for um, bottle carrier um, probably could put a battery here for um, uh, electric conversions if you want to do that. That'd be a cool idea. And the handlebars are real simple. Just a, a T-bar. Nothing fancy there. No shifters. This is just a coaster brake. Pedal backwards and you stop. Real simple. No brakes up here either. You probably could add brakes if you wanted to. If you want to do hand brakes you can. Just unscrew this here. You got your reflectors for safety. Up here you can see the welds on the frame. Again, like I said, I used to be a welder and I can tell these are really good looking welds. 
And this is an aluminum bike, so this is going to be a little lighter than the steel options that are out there. Let's take it for its uh, maiden voyage. Easy peasy. like that. Kind of reminds me of being a kid again with a, you know, BMX bike. Alright guys, if you want to buy this bike, just go ahead and click on that link I provided below the video. It'll take you to an Amazon link and you can buy this right from this video right here. Please hit that like button to support my channel. I really appreciate it. it helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Velano compact folding bike. Thanks a lot guys.